Today we're diving into the 1995 cult classic Hackers. Now, I know what you are thinking. Hackers isn't exactly known for its technical accuracy, but bear with me, because this movie is a goldmine of both hilarious, inaccurate and surprisingly pressing moments that can teach us a lot about technology, leadership and the culture of innovation. Before we dive in, let's set the stage. It's 1995, the internet is just becoming mainstream, and Hollywood decides to make a movie about teenagers, hackers, saving the world. What could possibly go wrong? Well, a lot, actually. But also, some things were surprisingly right. Let's start with one of the most infamous scenes in the movie, the hacking visualization. You know the ones I'm talking about, flying through 3D cityscapes of data, neon colors everywhere, and interfaces that look more like a video game than actual computer systems. Now obviously, this isn't how hacking or computer interfaces work, but here's the thing, this visual approach actually teaches us an important lesson about leadership and communication. When dealing with complex technical concepts, sometimes you need to find creative ways to make them understandable and engaging for a wider audience. In the real world, we call this data visualization, and its crucial skills in fields ranging from business intelligence to scientific research. While you probably won't be flying through 3D series of data, being able to present complex information in an intuitive, visual way is a valuable leadership skill. Next, let's talk about the diverse cast of characters in Hackers. We have Dave, Zero Cole Murphy, Kate Asimov Levy, and a whole crew of hackers with unique skills and personalities. This actually reflects a real and important aspect of building effective teams in tech. In the movie, each character brings something different to the table. Dave is a skill all-rounder. Kate is the first competitor. Phantom Freak is the phone freaking expert. And Serial Killer is, well, Serial Killer is just there for comic relief. But you get the idea. In real world tech teams, diversity of skills and perspective is crucial. A team of nothing but coders might build something technically impressive, but without input from designers, project managers and other specialists, it might not be user-friendly or aligned with the business goals. Now let's address the elephant in the room. The actual hacking in Hackers is, for the most part, completely unrealistic, but there is one scene that actually gets something right, and it's a crucial lesson for anyone in tech or leadership. Remember when the hackers are trying to break into the Gibson computer and they are stopped by a password? What do they do? They doesn't just use magic programs to hack into it. Instead, they use social engineering tricking a security guard into revealing the password. This is actually a pretty accurate representation of how many real-world hacks occur. It's often easier to exploit human vulnerabilities than technical ones. As a leader in tech, it's crucial to remember that security isn't just about firewalls and encryption, it's also about training your team to recognize and resist social engineering attempts. Now, let's talk about one of the most quotable lines from the movie, Hack the Planet. While it's become a bit of a meme, this actually reflects an important principle in modern tech culture, the global collaborative nature of innovation. In the movie's climax, hackers from around the world come together to help our protagonist. While the execution is pure Hollywood, the idea of global collaboration in tech is very real. Just look at open source software projects, international hackathons or global tech communities. As a leader in tech, fostering this kind of collaborative global mindset can lead to incredible innovation. It's about creating a culture where ideas can come from anywhere and where your team feels connected to a large community and purpose. Now, let's address one of the most problematic aspects of hackers. Its portrayal of law enforcement and corporate security as universally corrupt or incompetent. In one scene, a secret service agent says he's going to hack into a hacker's computer using a floppy disk. This is, of course, nonsense, but it does highlight a real issue in technical leadership. 
the danger of underestimating or misunderstanding the capability of those outside your immediate field. Whether it's law enforcement, competitors or potential security threats, assuming others are incompetent can lead to dangerous blind spots. In reality, many law enforcement agencies and corporations have high-skill cybersecurity teams. As a leader, it's crucial to respect the capabilities of others and to foster cooperation between tech teams and other departments or organizations. Let's move on to another iconic scene, the hacking competition between Dave and Kate. They're competing to see who can crash a TV station system faster. Now, obviously, hacking competitions don't usually involve taking down public infrastructure, but the concept of ethical hacking competition is very real and vulnerable. In the real world, many companies and organizations run bug bounties, programs or capture the flag competitions. These events allow ethical hackers to test systems and find vulnerabilities in a controlled legal environment. As a leader, encouraging this kind of ethical hacking mindset can significantly improve your organization's security. Now, let's talk about one of the movie's central conflicts, the tension between the young hackers and the older, more established tech figures like the plague. This actually reflects a real and ongoing debate in the tech world about innovation versus stability. In hackers, the young protagonists represent disruptive innovation, while the plague represents the entrenched interest of big corporations. While it's overly simplistic, this conflict does mirror real tensions in the tech industry between startups and established companies, or between different approaches to innovation. As a leader, navigating this tension is crucial. You need to foster innovation and fresh thinking, but also maintain stability and security. It's about finding the right balance and creating a culture where new ideas are welcome, but not at the expense of reliability or security. Let's wrap up with one final lesson from hackers, the importance of ethical considerations in tech. Throughout the movie, our protagonists are faced with moral dilemmas about how to use their skills. While their choices aren't always realistic, the core idea is crucial in real-world tech leadership. In today's world of AI, big data and pervasive technology, ethical considerations are more important than ever. As a tech lead, you need to foster a culture where your team thinks critically about the implications of their work and makes ethical choices. If you want to learn how to become a technical leader, you should watch this video. Thanks for watching and see you next week.